You might be wondering why there's a teddy bear in my passenger seat. Well, we figure we can get at least 40 bucks for this fucker on the uh, dark web, so that's the plan. Ahoy! Welcome back to Tim Senna Travels. Today's adventure takes me and my dad to southern Colorado where we went to visit my sister and enjoy some sights. This is my nephew cat. Thanks. Hello. Yeah, and Albert said he's more than half. I'm wearing the tie-dye on my sister's truck, which is pretty rad. <laughs> So we're just visiting Pueblo, Colorado right now, helping move some stuff. And I'm here with my pops, been on a road trip. Beautiful drive. It's organized now. Here with my good buddy, Teddy, exploring Pueblo, Colorado. I'm being held against my will. Having locked Teddy away in the dungeon, we made our way to downtown Pueblo, where we enjoyed a remarkable meal at an Italian restaurant. We also got the chance to wander around the waterfront area, which seemed a little empty without that many tourists around. It's clear the pandemic has really affected this community. But still, it's kind of special being able to have the place to yourself. Hello, everyone. So. Just finished our night stay in Fowler, Colorado. It's sort of like a little crossroads town. And um, reason being, turns out Pueblo, Colorado was booked solid. We couldn't find a single hotel. We tried every single hotel, regardless of quality. Started with like, you know, trying to look for the Marriott. Ended up begging the Motel 6 and nothing. So it turns out it was there a, there was a pro wrestling event. And um, so Pueblo, Colorado, totally booked out. And we ended up having to drive 45 minutes to uh, Fowler nearby to find lodging. So I uh, had a good time so far. It's a really retro, rundown little street motel. Opens up directly to the vehicle there. And uh, looking forward to getting on the road and exploring the castle uh, nearby Pueblo. So it should be interesting. Pueblo, Colorado turned out to be like a hidden gem, a real little big city. By that I mean it really felt like it had everything that you would really want in a larger city or metro area, so many restaurants and options. Um, it was just a lot of fun there and I, I was blown away by how nice the place actually ended up being. arrived at the Bishop Castle. At first glance the place was stunning and really something remarkable, but I didn't feel too confident looking at the construction. Scattered across the grounds you'll find various signposts which are frankly pretty ominous and directly aggressive and a lot of anti-government sentiment. This place had been built by a man named Jim Bishop and he'd clearly had some run-ins with the law previously. 
One thing was clear. You're entering this place at your own risk. Once you begin to explore the grounds, it's clear he was influenced by old medieval churches from Europe. These days, most of the work is taken over by the son of Jim Bishop, Daniel Bishop. It's become something of a family of obsession. Exploring the inside of the castle, we made our way to the upper floor where we got to appreciate some really unique stained glass. Betty Boop is an angel. <laughs> I'll be honest, I am frightened. Oh shit. Nope, I'm going back. I'm terrified. I'm scared. I'm going back. Oh shit. Oh my heart. Fireplace setup? <laughs> yeah, my knees started shaking. I was like, nope. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't have confidence that they believe in your safety here, that is how this is secured. I don't like it. I don't like it. somehow managed to survive our treacherous encounter with the bishop's castle. And Dad and I ended up making our way back home toward Clovis, New Mexico, where I'll finish out the trip and the final part of my first series, The Southwest Travelogues. barely managed not to drop my phone out of the moving vehicle above a canyon essentially uh, so that was lucky and we made our way back on the last stretch of the journey I'm screw hill oh boy this here's screw mountain welcome to screw mountain oh look down there son damn the canyon's over here deserts of the southwest you find all sorts of interesting things like this abandoned schoolhouse or apparent misspellings of the word bronco turns out actually you can spell it that way google it anyway join us next time for tim senna travels for the final installment of the southwest travelogues where we'll be exploring my hometown clovis new mexico thank you for watching please like and subscribe Thank you.